Todoist is a great place for capturing tasks. It's easy to create projects, super satisfying to build out to-do lists, and the karma points. Who doesn't love those? You can see that in my karma, I have literally thousands of tasks. Oh, thank you. And my karma is ridiculous. All right, enough of that. In all seriousness, if you do have an itch like me to use Todoist, but it's filled with long to-do lists, many of which never move from ideation to completion, and I think that's okay. It's a perfect place to capture tasks, but to make it more than a repository of ideas, I link Todoist to Morgan. Time blocking is an act of focus. It pushes me to be intentional about which tasks I prioritize and schedule in my calendar, and which ones simply don't fit with everything I have going on. When I see a task time blocked on my calendar, I know this is what I will devote my energy to. And if I need to, I definitely can adjust time on this because I think I'll need a couple more minutes. And quickly from there, I have an adjusted time blocking schedule. Not only that, but you may have recently seen that Todoist rolled out calendar views. If you see inside of any of your projects, you can go to your view section over here and click on calendar if you're a pro user rather than board or list view. These are a nice place to visually lay out deadlines and I can easily see when I have too many deadlines concentrated together. And if based on various dependencies, the timelines make sense in general. But what I think is great here is if I need to, I can essentially grab one of these tasks as I'm time blocking to plan my days and change this timeline to showcase exactly how long I believe I'm gonna be working on these tasks. As you can see, simply in a side by side view like this, you're really not getting the same experience. This is just a clutter of boxes and this actually shows you how much time it'll take for you to get something done and what you should account for when time blocking. This is quite different from time blocking. I schedule time to work on these key tasks in my calendar, working around my other meetings, time commitments, vacations, and so on. If you go to the top right here, you can add Todoist to your account by connecting a task integration and then picking Todoist I just know that we are always improving our product. We have a lot of really great improvements made recently where we see our priority here from our Todoist task set up on the side for each one. We have what project they're in, the day that they are due, and you can easily open the task in Todoist simply by clicking on the button here, and then you'll get more info from it. You can see that my Todoist tasks are all captured in Morgan, and I'm gonna reorganize them in a way that makes sense and is easier for me to time block. Simply press the three dots right here, and what I can do is I can actually organize my tasks by priority level and then order them by due date. So I can group by priority, which you can see right here. I have the P1s, 2s, 3, and then from there, I can sort it and order it by due date, where ascending would be the most recent, due dates are on the top, and then descending being the other way around. Now, I'm ready to start time blocking. Similar to what you saw me do earlier, where I can simply drag a task on here, I'm gonna take a look at some of the tasks that I have moving forward. I know that tomorrow, I definitely need to make time to call my mom, so I'm gonna do that in the late afternoon, early evening, and drag it to make some time on the calendar for it. You'll notice that after I drop this right here, all I need to do is drag it to where I wanna be scheduled and drop it right in the calendar. I can easily extend the time devoted to the task, or in this case, where I know that this call mom task will be a big one, I can copy and paste it to another working session. Not really. Uh, for example, one of these, like this brainstorm Twitter plan, I have a feeling that this is gonna go not only from today, but also go into a little bit tomorrow. So I can definitely add that to an open block in my early afternoon here, right after I get coffee with my buddy Chance. I believe this will take probably like a two hour task. It's gonna be a big one. Also, if I go over to my phone, you'll see that all of these different tasks are actually captured inside of my phone as well. On the Morgan app that's installed on my phone, you'll see that that brainstorm Twitter content plan was doubled up to the next day. And then uh, my lovely phone call with my mother has been marked on too. And if I just want to set it to a day view, I can totally do that so that I can see what's coming up for today. And like you saw at the beginning, I do have this wonderful widget that showcases what I have coming up for today. And pressing the task simply by clicking on one of the sections of the widget is so cool. For important tasks that demand my focus, I'm gonna go a step further. I don't want to risk the task being interrupted or double booked, so I'm gonna mark it as busy. So on this brainstorm Twitter content plan, I'm going to make sure that this is not marked as free as it could have been, but instead marked as busy, just like that. And then after pressing save, this means my colleagues who can see when my calendar is busy or free will know not to book a meeting at that time. It will also update my scheduling links accordingly to no longer offer this as a possible time slot to me. I'm also going to add an additional alert to this task. I'm creating a notification to go off 15 minutes 
before, you can see right here, it's set to minutes before, 15 minutes before I need to start work on it just to ensure I'm in the right headspace and wrapping up whatever I was working on before. Once I've completed this task, as I can with anything like this one, we're about to finish this video up, so I'm just gonna mark it off. I can click on that, I can mark it as complete, and it will now be displayed in my calendar with this check mark. And if I jump to Todoist, you'll see that the status has now updated to complete. If you notice, as I was talking, it actually just checked it off on the side here. So it's gone. No, it's checked off. I mean, yay, yay, yay. I'm, I'm happy I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I'm happy that this task is checked off. And funny enough, right as I do that, it's a segue into the ending of this video, which is if you're a Todoist loyalist, I recommend trying to pair that amazing product with Morgan. For me, this duo has transformed my to-do list in action plans, and I get a heck of a lot more done. Not to mention uh, more karma points to boot, subtle flex. That being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out more content on our channel on how to improve your skills using Morgan even more.